and will have, of course, complete the pleasantries for this one. There's confirmation for you. Tim Sohi in the end as the podium disappears for the moment. But reappearing in a few seconds will be the men's under 80 kilogram final. The last event here of what has been an excellent Grand Prix. The level of organisation has been perfect. The level of entertainment has been amazing. And it will continue now. Framtov and Martinez on their way. in the men's under 80 kilogram final. The crowd have been treated to an excellent exhibition. Some of the organizers of the Wushi Grand Slam. We are here in the crowd tonight. And we have indeed enjoyed the spectacle. The Wushi Grand Slam, of course, was won by the man coming out now. Maxim Ramsov of Russia has his eyes on the prize. Final four, referees and judges. Hun Jae Sung in charge of this one. Well, here he comes. European world Grand Slam champion as well. A couple of silvers. Grand Prix series, can he get his first ever gold? Standing in his way, the formidable figure, the master of distance, Raul Martinez Garcia. We're winning that excellent battle earlier on. The match against Rafaljevic of Uzbekistan was a close one. He's got the composure. The Russians in the crowd, well, you can guess who they'll be cheering on. With Jason ready to go. Protectors are working, head guards too. His game plan is going to pay dividends here. Martinez is going to need his concentration. We know that Hamtov likes a fast start. Coaches are limbering up to straight out of the blocks. And into the body there was Hamtov. Well, Martinez blocking well. Maxim Hamtov. Steady start from the Russian, giving the due respect to his opponent. Hamsov faced etch with concentration. Martin is back leg turning kick to the body. Chop kick over the shoulder. Now well, Martin is. Very, very good at concentrating. Nice movement as well there from the Spaniard. Yes, Ramsov, little options, and the Russians having to think again. Yeah, nice little front leg hook, good adaptation, and a body kick as well. Ramsov in an unusual position, points down. Drop kick over the shoulder, excellent from Martinez Garcia. He's done his homework. Martinez Garcia in the lead. As 
we lead towards the end of this first round. 22 seconds left, two points up. Good first round from both men. Maxim Hamtos gives the nod of respect and understanding, and he understands that he's in a fight now. No question about it. <laughs> Composure and concentration, so important. Maxim Hamtov took a moment to avoid the headshot and left a space for the body shot. Spain in the lead here. What can the Russian do in response? Second round, men's under 80 kilograms. Final day here in the Rome Grand Prix. He's been with us all the way. They've enjoyed it. Shantov enjoys that punch there, that scores. Twisting kick to the body, adaptation for the Russian changing his game plan. Letting the back leg go. Well, Martinez Garcia though. Phil is a cucumber. And the Spanish coach really enjoying the fact that his athlete is covering up on that clinch because he knows that Hamtov is so good. Good punch there from Garcia. A real fight beginning to just bubble under here. Back leg to the body, batters home from Martinez. Kramsov, can he find a response? Overreaching the Russian. Punch there, this time from Maxim, doesn't score. Headshot does though. But he was bound to find one as he tries to take two to the body. Maxim Hamsov avoids the head kick, good back kick as well from Martinez. Timing not clean, but the chop just changed that front leg. Just flicks past there. Well, the momentum was going away from Maxim. And it is now back with the Russian who lands another head kick. Two in a row. From four down to six up. It's now ever more difficult because the Russian decided to come forward, lands another punch. He knows when to put the power on. Goes with the head kick, nice little push to the body. Raul Martinez Garcia. He knows he's up against it now. Well, it's a different nod, it's a nod of approval this time in the first round. He signaled to Martinez Garcia, OK, I'm impressed, you've stuck with me. And that one was a much more confident look. It's better for Maxim Mansov Garcia, still in this one. What can he find for the third round? It's the surprise attack, he looks one way and kicks the other. Well, final tactical adjustments, final opportunities here in this final final of the Rome Grand Prix. Maxim Ramsov, aggressive. Locks the head kick as well, full of concentration now. Punch lands. Up to the satisfaction of the judges, headshot almost. It's becoming a bit of a fight now.
Lucas Garcia, can he find something? Because at the moment, well, his coach looking a little bit disconsolate. Certainly not disappointed. The work of the Spaniard has been great. Started so well, but Ramsov, when he needed to, as we have seen. Okay, so he looked down and out, she pulled it back. Lisa Mandic looked down and out, she pulled it back. We've seen today. Maxi Ramsov looked in real trouble. And he's pulled it back as we pull away into the last minute here of this third round. Tries with the hook around the corner. Good shot underneath here for Martinez. Gives himself a chance. Can he work for a gam job? Looks for it. Lunjay Sun, the referee, keeping a close eye on proceedings here. Ramsov breathing heavily. Jump there, kill some time, the punch. No real power on it. Understandable, last 30 now. Who can find a way through? Punch there from Ramsov. Doubles the scores on the board. 12-6 into the last 20. Nice little counter underneath from Martinez. He's not done yet. Trying to fight, goes with the back kick, misses. Ramsov. Gasping for air into the last 10, takes the gam jump, the first one of the game. 10 seconds to go, 14-9 in favour. Martinez Garcia trying to come forward with this one. Can he find an answer? Last five seconds. Ramsov, the Russian, on the cusp. Footwork, back leg turning kick, a check of the clock. And a run to the coach, Maxi Ramsov. His first goal in a Grand Prix. My goodness, he deserved it. What a fighter. He is here to stay at the top of the division. Maxim Hansov, Rome Grand Prix gold medalist. He can be delighted with his day's work. Olympic ranking points in the pocket. A tasty little check for $5,000. Three thousands to this man here, Raul Martinez Garcia. Superb effort in that final. Led for moments, dominated for patches. Controlled the distance. And by a distance at the end there, Maxim Ramtov showed the quality, executed in style. This was the moment Looked like Spanish gold. Maxi Ramsov made of strong stuff. Got his game plan back in order and got himself back to the top of the world. Grand Prix champion there. What a shot. You can never look away when Maxi Ramsov's around. Especially if you're fighting a much learned, I'm sure. By like Raul Garcia Martinez from well earned. The gold medalist from Russia. Maxim Ramsov, a wonderful competitor. It has been a wonderful start to the Grand Prix series. And it will be closed now by the awarding ceremony in the men's under 80 kilogram grouping. Well, there's your champion. The blue strapping on his hand, but they will be strapping the gold medal around his neck. Plus the $5,000. Young Gil Park, the honorary president of the Italian Taekwondo Federation, will do the honours here. 
remains Fab Four. One more step for all of them. Julio Ferreira from Portugal. Excellent bronze medal for him. He's a composed and quality fighter, showed his class in the end. He will accept the medal, the award, $1,000, which is always nice. What a warm ovation for Tony Canet from Croatia. Excellent bronze medal, well earned on the back of that European Championship lightweight gold. Takes a Grand Prix bronze. Quality from the Croat. Aurel Martez Garcia makes his way on to the second spot. He was excellent. Led for patches of that final, looked good all day. Rich reward. Spanish silver for Raul Martinez Garcia. Maxim Hansov of Russia. There's your champion. And is there a better one? Well, he's certainly full of skill, full of will, and I'm sure full of delight now. A beautiful medal to end a beautiful competition here in Rome. It's been a pleasure to share it with you. I've enjoyed all of it. More to come, of course, in the series as we see confirmation. Julio Ferreira of Portugal's bronze. Tony Canet from Croatia, likewise. Raul Martinez Garcia with the silver. Maxi Hamsov, the big man in charge. So he brings all four to the top. First gold medal in the Grand Prix series here in Rome. A great way to start the season. Up next will be Moscow. Do join us again for that. Until then, I'm sure you can pick up all the Taekwondo knowledge wherever you are in the world. A very good evening. And ciao for now from Roma.